jungle, Axe, Winter Wyvern, and <laughs> Axe was like super farmed because of it. Do you think that's the best bet up against this Faceless Void Wyvern? Yeah, you, he's already kind of a attempted to disrupt them and it's not worked, so... Oh, they're going on to Puppy here. Oh my goodness, with that next shot, it looks like this should be our first. Bloody can't escape. He's healing up a little bit from oh the Oh my tree. god. Okay, no, the Wraith Fire Blast. One more hit. Yes, they get the first blood. If he had lived there, that would have been such a sick. Well, Hunger, he is slowed up. They're chasing him down. And Era, oh, will he just... A beautiful fissure from Yapsaw. And Era is going to be able to walk it on off. He's stuck under the tower in a bad spot. And of course, Cinder and does end up going down. Wow, MV pop on. Yes, it is. They're going to quickly head on over. There's two of them. The exorcism is going. Era is going to be leading the charge. Spirit Siphon coming out onto him. The Battle Hunger as well. Era very slow here. Quick but trying to help him out with the Chakram. Era you're going to be burning that reincarnate here and exorcism will help bring him down with a Timber Chain through. Onto Artizi. He still has that time. Well drops the Chronosphere right onto Era's head while Envy is there as well. A Timber Chain through onto Artizi with the Whirling Death getting the kill there. Era will fall here but Puppy on the sidelines. Cold embraced up, and it is so far carry for carry. Let's see if Secret can find anything else with the exorcism over. It might be hard, push, but jumping in a beautiful visitor, full but echo slam down there. And now Yapso are trying to wander around the wall. It looks like this should be the end of the engagement. Yeah, Koiko was a little bit low on mana, but that's actually super impressive that they noticed in time to be able to get there and disrupt. Looks like they will get the Roshan. We'll see if they can come in and contest on escape. If they can't contest, it feels like they need to get as far away as possible and wait it out. Oh, two men call for Puppy. Oh, no. Puppy. And there's going to be the Chronosphere coming out here. Oh, he doesn't even need it. They just blow them up with the vacuum. And that's what we were talking about. Supports. Sometimes it's just you're dodging Death Prophet or someone similar, like the Tide. A lot on the line. Both teams, they're all just playing super safe. Arteezy gets a jump off. Chrono, Syndrome alone. Oh yeah, and they're going on the top lane, but I'm not sure. Oh, he does manage to bring down Cinder, and at the same time, Eric is up there. Tries to turn it around and go for the TP away. They won't get the bash. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Death Prophet gets one kill. Kezu in trouble as well. If Death Prophet can reach up, she has a Spirit Scythe, but she's going to use it. Kezu slowed down. Rolled the Echo Slam, but Yapso, there's no follow-up damage. He's barely even going to save the tower here, and... Oh, maybe the Necronomicon creep uh, escape. Oh, MB actually taking a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, there. We hear another grab. pull. Oh no, he's getting pulled up, but he's gonna be just fine. They still have the Echo Slam. It could a Fizzer instead. Gonna be what goes up there. The Echo Slam follow up. They got the Timber Chalker going through and the chain, and they get a two quick picks on the cause. Bulba now being body blocked up here by Koifa. Not gonna just let him go free. Yapso looking for the stun. A vacuum back by Bulba. There's too many single target stuns, and he will go down. Woo. Tape Gaming fighting back. You know, clear out those heroes. Yeah, these guys are clearly working together a lot better in the game than we just saw. But also, just throughout this regional call, but oh, they're not done yet. They're gonna stun up. Highlight Die has that cold embrace, though, and Puppy gonna just draw some attention away. But here comes the Timber. Fewer damage. No, they're actually gonna force them to fight on the Yapso with that Winter Sword. Envy is now here with the Spirit Siphon, but it's returning some damage due to that Blade Veil error. Will go down. Reincarnate. He is not in a good spot. There's Chronosphere, but it's not looking like they need it. Error is just gonna have to sit there, take it, going down. I foresaw your death. A little bit of an overextension to go for that Wyvern kill, but either way, they lose three. Yeah, it's just as Uppy, he's getting around onto the sidelines. He'll be able to blink there, catch out Kezu, dragging him back with Envy, showing off that BKB. Kezu silenced up Cinderin, giving his life again. And with the stun, Envy has to get around this vision. He'll kill up Cinderin, but he won't catch Kezu. And that's another BKB charge down. And Trying to step toward them, but they don't really have the opportunity to go in right now. All, the all they have is an Echo Slam, but Secret very far spread apart. And there we go, Faceless Void picking up the Aegis, does this- Oh, actually they're going in, they're trying to work through Kyla Die, they get the quick kill. RTZ running away, and with that- Playing kind of afraid in a way. If this has to go super late, who are you giving the edge to? Super late? I think- I don't know, I mean- Feel free to qualify with minutes. Oh, oh, Primal Roar going out on the puppy. Do they have it? Yes, they do. No time to get up that extra armor. Who is coming in? The Fissure way too soon. Arteezy now with that time dilation, but Era has stunned him up. Arteezy needs some help, and he's just going to now kick down, get a lightning croc. It won't be. The Winter's Curse comes out. They'll kill off that creep. And now a vacuum back. Arteezy, he could open up with the Chrono Spear. Era, he hasn't lost enough mana. He will reincarnate the Timber, the Chakra, causing problems for Arteezy. But... They will lose Kezu, and now Era needs some help from Koikfa. It is 3v2. 
How long about the exorcism? Oh yeah, Era, will he turn around and use it? He still hasn't used it. Finally, he pops it there, doing a lot of damage to a tunnel envy, but he just doesn't have enough. And Koifa stunned up there, unable to throw out the Chakram. Never mind. We're talking about Puppy. His smoke will not quite be broken. This is... But it does end. Oh my gosh, Eternal Envy has maybe been caught out here. Will be put into that cold embrace and immediately the Winter's Curse onto Era. I hear Primal Roar on the back lines are actually going onto RTZ as well. He has no more mana. He will be able to BKB up the Guardian Greaves, making it so he can time walk away. He can't Chronosphere though. Fissure coming on through. Cinder and going down for his teammates while Eternal Envy being a pain to Era on the back lines. Reincarnate was already used. RTZ being saved there by Cold Embrace as well. And Axe trying to get a call off, but it'll just be Cinder and how was that team fight just Cinder and there's a dark sphere both is a dark sphere both is a chronosphere like oh he surges the illusion of Arteezy are they gonna take the thrill oh my goodness era being spirit siphon immediately pops that blade mail eternal envy taking a lot of damage where is the echo slam Kazu he's coming in primal roar on the puppy stuff but no envy gets off his BKB Cinder is gonna be forced to run away beast monster goes down era has used his reincarnate he blinks over to the sidelines Trying to blow up MP here, they echo slam just onto him, Bulba caught out as well, but there it is, the Chronosphere error, no reincarnate here. Do they have the damage? Koifa, no, it's Chakram, it's blocked, and there it is, Lotus Orb gonna, uh, oh no, Lotus Orb, Winter's Girl's gonna help them kill off Yapsaw, Lotus Orb not gonna save Wraith King from going down, it's Koifa against the world. And Papa who is traveling really, really fast there. Kazu, gonna see him in the Creepsies vacuum back though, Kazu not looking great here for our beast monster so just gonna fall no chop but still dies puppy so trying to take those incredibly careful fights or just avoid them altogether yeah the way I uh, envy has been itemizing it like in the past couple games has been really interesting this was something he did the other day on death prop it's a little bit more of an advantage and but yeah escape is oh gosh they're the looking window. for it right there oh my god they're all comes oh, up forming no. chrono he manages to hit all of them. Yaxel is going to be brought down here. Cinder and he can't save life this time. Point, but all he can do is throw out Chakram. Error is somehow still alive in the middle of all of that. He's going to reincarnate into the hell that is his new life and only buyback. Let's see. We're going to see Error falling here very, very quickly. You he know, doesn't have a buyback. You don't want to fight without exorcism. I think that's actually a big win for escape. Exorcism's gonna be up again in 25 seconds, and Puppy's also sieging the bottom lane. Yeah, they can't catch a break on escape. The creep! Oh, and now the fissure! They don't manage to vacuum Kezu back over the wall. The swap as well. Cinder wanting to make sure he saves their lives. What was already activated is BKB. Cinder will go down there. And Bulba looking uh -oh, for some Koikba. more. Koikba in a little bit of trouble. Is there the Chronosphere? Catches and two of them. Eren's on the edge as well. They need some help. The BKB is no longer. Eren gonna get beaten up by Kazu. Koikba getting very, very low here. He needs some help from his teammates. He throws up the Chalk Timber team over to the timeline, but Otizi just ends up following him, bashing him in that time walk. It doesn't matter about your Lotus Orb. They will see Timbersaw go down. He immediately buys back Tunnel Envy. In that cold embrace with the Echo Slam onto all of the creeps coming out there. But Envy eats the cheese up. And Eren, he is fighting someone who is just much, much bigger than him. Eren does have reincarnate here. Kezu getting low. Puppy, they need to dagger him down. They manage to. Eren with the Lotus Orb and the Blade Mail coming out here. We'll see whether he can fight into Envy Timbersaw, trying to help him with both of those Chakrams and be unable to get forced off up to the high ground. And they will lose the first life. Boyd for jumping in. This is his second life. If he goes down into the Exorcism, that's going to be a dieback. They need some help. And, and Eren swapped out here by Cinderin and RTZ being smashed. Up. No, they can't quite do it. They stun him again. The lightning, its procs are not enough. And Error will fall. He fights back. This team fight, there are a lot. There's so many different forms for them to. So many different big team fight ultimates just for Seeker. And it's, it's looking to work very well for them. That was pretty hilarious, though, the enchant totem from Yapsor. He's like, I'm going to farm this. His item progression has pretty much halted, as you mentioned. Yeah, he escaped there. 20,000 net worth behind. Oh, gosh, Cinderin. You will get cold. Put in a, a bit of trouble there. Puppy actually acting like he's looking for more, but instead he will just pick off the venge. I oh, my goodness. They will land the fissure on him. Yes. Oh, gosh. It's just going to be Rags going down. Oh, TZ. He's finished the job. User time walk pretty much in place. Lotus Orb going out onto him as well, so that there can't be such easy stuns or swaps and... Yeah, he backs out. He hits very hard though. 200 agility up on that void. Fortunately, been stuck on the exact same items the entire time. Luckily now though, he has quite foot to buy him. 16, 16 wards. What a guy. And now, as we were mentioning, 
Envy does sell off his Veil of Discord, and now he's finally bringing out that Octarine Core as his final item. Only took him a couple of years. Oh. He dropped his bot boots to travel instead of getting rid of the cheese. Excellent. I can understand that. Yeah, that's fine. So, Ortiz, he just uses Time Walk to get rid of it, and again, he attacks so incredibly fast with his butterfly. With the Manta and the Diffuser Blade. Okay, Kezu with the Primal Roar onto Artizi. They're trying to build some of his Mana, but the next call by Puppy bringing both back. Artizi, they'll bring him down. A Godlike streak has been ended. Puppy knows that in the BKB era is just trying to smack people around now, desperately trying to get away from Eternal Envy. Beastmaster already fallen. Era being pulled back there by Puppy and Era. Life number one is not quite dead yet. Finally, he'll go down. Artizi coming back into the team fight with the buyback. He wants to end this game. He wants to end it now. Koika getting called back with the most beautiful echo. Glad coming out of the Yamsaw, Bushman manages to get into the fountain, Yamsaw is trapped by his own vision, but Era not quite able to kill off Arteezy, he is not looking good, the spirits won't chase him into the fountain, but that is Rax in another lane, Eternal Envy just going to turn around on it once the glyph is down, and there we go, secret, two lanes of business. Nice play from Escape though. To at least bring down the void once, forcing Arteezy's butt. Uh, I'm a noob. I'm not too sure. Excellent. As you guys hear, Fog is, is a noob, so we're not sure. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not my department. I'm gonna go ahead and blame my Saw. Gets rid of the gets rid of the Lotus Orb that he's had for a while now and picks up the Octarine. He realizes he needed he needs a real tier five item. And there's oh, uh, but Secret's looking to close out this game though, heading towards that top tower. Moonshard eaten on Arteezy and all Oh my goodness. Alright. Okay, so that I was wrong. Here, yeah, calling Cinder and Era being brought back by Puppy now Spirit Side, but causing a lot of trouble. Kezu with the Lincoln Sphere. Oh no, he just get off the primal raw internal envy. Has a Lotus Orb up, causing a lot of problems there for Cinder and Beastmaster to dies on one side of the fight. Cinder inevitably gonna go down there. Cold Embrace gonna save up Puppy. And oh no. I'm not sure what Era. They do not have buyback on either of those heroes. Well, we're gonna about to learn whether Escape can hold against Soup Mega Creep. Era gonna try to go in. Spirit Slice is coming out. Oh no, Puppy with the pull. Putting Era into a bad position. Brings it back into the Chronosphere. Thank you, Cole. There's the Shiva's coming out. Era will go down once. He's gonna reincarnate here, but he needs some serious help, and he is not getting it. Echo Slam coming out from Yasuo. Is it the control they need? They will turn around the Cold Embrace, and though the Winter's Curse, Era killing his friends. He is down. Nice Rapier on the ground. And G GG's most likely. Koiko are gonna try to fight as best he can. Escape know that this is their TI dream right here, but Koiko getting blown up, head chopped off, and GG's are cold. Wow. It just seems like Escape just weren't able to fight ever. Like, they had a few small engagements and stuff that went into their favor, but it was never like... You never saw all five on Secret Day. You never saw the like four heroes in on Secret Day. It was always like three for three, or three for two, or something along those lines. And Really well played by Secret, just picking a massive team fight lineup, and yeah, it, I mean it works out for them, of course. Yeah, nice draft there by Secret. Now it's their turn to go into the other tiebreaker. We'll make sure the next group of people who are casting those uh, let you guys know how that all works. So Secret versus Fantastic Five, clearly open qualifier team is very good in Dota 2.